Today we're exploring the wide range of wiring accessories available as part of this MK base range. I like the base, base, base. I like the MK buttery biscuit base. Well, for any MasterChef fans out there, the closest we're getting to the kitchen today is this 45 amp double pole switch as part of the MK base range. Now, the range itself is designed to appeal to two contractor groups, Gary, isn't it? It is. The ones that have always used the MK range and now finding they're getting squeezed a little bit on price and therefore the base range comes in. And the ones that have never used MK and have probably been, I don't know, down that lower end and are now got it as an option. And it is a fantastic option. It's an immense range. We'll leave a link in the description to the range as we explore it in this video. Yeah, and when we think about budget ranges, sometimes in other ends there's bits missing from it that can come to cause you problems depending on the type of insulation. What's that biggest problem, Gary? Having a combination of mixed face plates in order to get all the things you want within the range. Now, we looked at sockets previously, didn't we? And we'll leave a link in the description or the eye above our head when we delved into those sockets. So let's carry on with that socket theme before maybe we delve into the kitchen. Over here, Gordon, we've got the, the neon on the actual socket outlets themselves, and I like that. Yeah, I mean, that's useful. We've mocked it up here on the, yeah, some bench trunking. Yeah, if you're in that sort of environment where you're likely to be working on electrical things, perhaps you've got the soldering iron out or uh, servicing something, and uh, yeah, you want to make sure the power is actually on and you've got it switched on because someone sometimes trips things out and uh, yeah that visual indication comes in really helpful yeah and to have that in a base range is fantastic so let's let's go into the the, the kitchen area okay mm -hmm. pick us a, an outlet and i'll tell you where we can place it within the kitchen well we've done neons yeah i mean i can't believe people are still using unswitched socket outlets okay so we're thinking of that kitchen area we're pushing back washing machines tumble dryers dishwashers etc and the socket beyond there doesn't have a switch on and we'll have that switch remotely so we can obviously isolate it for maybe maintenance purposes or we're going on holiday and that's where it links in lovely because this range the base range also fits in with the grid system that mk already uses yeah it is yeah it's completely interchangeable so i've mocked up that example you've uh, you've well, talked about there gary here's a, a common one so here's our uh, existing MK uh, grid switch range and the grid switch modules click into the York uh, that people are probably used to available in a vast range of uh, different printed options so I've married the tumble dryer and the washing machine with this uh, faceplate from the base range so remember this is the existing logic plus grid switch range with this uh, new MK base front plate and they're ideal for that now. I mean, the, the range in these in terms of what you can have printed on is extensive. And just to reflect our uh, <laughs> aspirational living here, we've got a coffee machine and uh, there is, is even a wine cooler option in there. So that's uh, if you want to make it look high end with, uh, with uh, a budget best range of uh, wiring accessories, putting a few grid switch modules in there is a great option. That is a great option. And you've been playing around with it because you delved in. I know you like to go a little bit off piste and you've uh, mounted one over here. What's that all about? Yeah, well, I didn't realise within the range you could actually get a buzzer module in a grid switch. Right, and okay. So I've married go. up with a retractive switch. So there you go. So it might be useful, we might try this, is marrying that up with some of the smart doorbells we've looked at in the, uh, on the channel before, because people are often looking for a different place to put the uh, audible indicator that someone's at the door with that uh, parcel from a well-known <laughs> online retailer that offers next day delivery. So we've talked about those sockets in the kitchen area, okay, and the switches. I've got another socket that I'd like to use, maybe that five amp socket. I walk into a living area, have a switch at the, the entrance point, I can turn on some table lamps or into a bedroom, but they don't make a five amp socket in this range, do they? No, well, yeah, they don't as a standalone item, but that's where again, you can come in with this Euro plate. So we have looked at Euro modules before. Uh, again, this is a dedicated MK base Euro uh, module plate, and you can click in components, one of which is a five amp socket. So you can create that five amp socket by clicking that in there. Kind of mock that up behind us, guys, because I think this is a great upsell yes. for electricians if you're working in rewires or new build properties. Yeah, you, you scatter some five amp sockets around a room, and that's an ideal place for people to plug in table lamps. So if we've mocked up here, yeah, one of our nice conduit lamps, and yeah, you can switch them rather than going around and switching each individual lamp on, switch them from the door. From the yeah, we've got a uh, yeah, switch here, and they're available in single double and triple variants in the range. Great feel to them, I like them. But we put it on this wall and there is a separate video on it because it's got another standout feature within this base range and that's the dimmer, isn't it? Yeah, so literally taking your lighting to another level 
that is to put a dimmer switch on. So we've got a five amp socket here. We've got a dimmer switch here. Again, having that at the uh, central position in the room. We have, yeah, we've made that separate video because it's got one great feature. I recommend you check that out, especially when it comes to low end dimming. There's a great feature on there. I'll point to it there, but won't go too close. Uh, check out that video, some good learnings in there and you'll see how that product performs. And we've got a sneaky bit of LED strip as well, so it's worth checking out that video, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so we've got that, we've got some high-end features in there. So I've gone into the kitchen, I've given it a high-end feel. I've got these five amp socket outlets, but we know nowadays it's probably data that's really important in a house, okay? We're all on the Wi-Fi. We'd like to get off that Wi-Fi, especially where we're drawing down lots of information, okay? Streaming a lot of stuff. Hardwired internet connection, have we got that covered? Yeah, it is. So that, that is a great upsell for electricians. Yeah, you, you, you say you put your five amp outlets in but adding data to uh, yeah those key bits behind the smart television where the games consoles like to be getting yeah. those off the wi-fi and onto a hardwired connection actually improves your wi-fi we've got a whole series on that if you haven't seen it um, but it's a great again a great upsell opportunity um, you can do that two ways is one with the euro modules so you can just build your data outlets that way by clicking them in i've got a category six uh, version here um, or, and again, you don't often see this in uh, budget ranges. Here's a dedicated data outlet faceplate. We've got it in the single version here, and I've got it in the double on the uh, on the bench trunking there. But again, again and, and the good thing, I mean, to point out, you know, you max, match these up, it's the common depth of faceplate across the range. So, so even when I bring in the cooker switch. Yeah, that tends to be the one, doesn't it? Yeah, you'll be in the kitchen. Uh, and you'll probably have lots of, uh, you may have some light switches under the bench. You're probably gonna have some fuse connection units, which brings us nicely onto those. Yeah, and they're all the same depth. That is a, a nice touch. Uh, yeah. So shall we have a look at the fuse connection units next? There seems to be a range of those. Yeah, so there's all the ones you'd expect. There's obviously unswitched fused outlets, the switch fuse outlets, switch fuse outlets with neon and all available with and without cord grip as well. Um, the great thing that we liked about the socket, if I flip it over, all the screw terminals are backed out and that saves a bit of time, Gary, doesn't it? Yeah, and we saw that in our previous video. Also, we saw how the terminations themselves can be tightened up and we did 2.6 newton meters of torque and we saw how a, a, a fellow rival of this outlet actually didn't make anywhere near 2.6 where the MK socket did. And that goes back to its heritage, doesn't it? They come with a 20 year guarantee, the base range, but MK have been making sockets since you were a young lad. How many years is that, Gordon? Well, a hundred years and uh, yeah, and obviously learned a lot of experience in there. These sockets are made from urea, which uh, maybe, well, what's that? that well, sounds it's, complicated. A, it's a special type of plastic. Uh, however, the advantage of using urea is they have inbuilt antibacterial and antiviral properties. Well, that seems very re relevant to the times that we're in now. It's across the whole range, not just the socket outlets, this urea material. Yeah. Um, why is that so important? Um, so what the, and this goes to uh, a lot of people are piggybacking off this at the moment, but MK have got a lot of experience with this. All those nasties you always see in the news when there's a food poisoning outbreak or things like that, they can't live on the front of the socket. And I'll put a link in the description where you can find out more information about that. But, you know, imagine you've got a light switch and a lot of people are going in and out of that room. If they, you know, deposit some bacteria or a virus on there, it'll be actually killed by the plastic that's in there itself. Or, that's very clever. Or 99.98%, depending yeah. on the, uh, the particular nasty that's on there. And it swings us back to the caps that go over the screws. And we'd love your feedback. Do you love a, a cap that goes over a screw or are you one of the people who don't love it? The reason there'd be a, an advantage now is that those little indents where the screws are without the caps on them may be an area where these viruses could live. Yeah, you get build up of dirt and things like that. So I like screw caps. I think they give a great uh, clean uh, clean appearance. Obviously, uh, put your comments below on, your, on your, what, what, what side of the screw cap debate you're in. And I think we should just mention the design as well. Should we bring the camera in? Because it's the one thing we left to last, because we'd like to think people were already diving in with the comments. It doesn't look like something that's allegedly at that other end, does it? No, it doesn't. I mean, it's got a great look and feel. I mean, everything about it, you know, we put the, uh, the, the socket that we looked at previously, the light switch, you know. And those light switches have some really generous sized terminals in them, don't they? They're all captive screws as well, don't they? Yeah, I mean, that, yeah, that's just, yeah. Look and feel quality. I, I like this range, yeah. It's, uh, 
I like this range as well, but we're interested in your opinion. What do you think of the MK base range? Did you know it existed? You've been fitting it and you want to give us some feedback on what you've been doing and maybe some standout features within the range. Are you currently fitting MK stuff and you didn't realise it was around and now you're going to trundle down to your electrical wholesaler to find out more about this or were you never using it and now all of a sudden you're thinking it gives you a chance to level up your installations in the future. Please leave all those comments below and we'll try and get back to as many as we can. Another coffee, please, go, Gary. <laughs>